find the LCM and HCF of 14, 21 and 77. To find the HCF and LCM, first we should do the prime factorization of each number separately. That is C. 14, 21, 77. Okay, next. Here the first number is 14. 14 is 2 7s 14. Now we have 7. 7 is a prime number. So 7 1s 7. Now the other number. 21. 21 is 3 7s 21. Now we have 7. 7 is a prime number. So 7 1s 7. Now the other number. 77. Here each digit is 7 and most important 7 is a prime number. So we take 7 here. The first number 7 when do we get 7 in 7 table? 7 once 7. The other number 7 when do we get 7 in 7 table? 7 once 7. Now here we have 11. 11 is a prime number so 11 once 11. Now our HCF is, HCF is the product of numbers which should be present over here and here and also here. I repeat, HCF is the product of numbers which should be present in these three places that is here, here and also here. So now let us find the numbers which are present here, here and also here. Starting with the number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. No need to check in the other place. Next number 7. Do we have 7 here? Yes. Go to the next place. Do we have 7 here? Yes. So you cut 7 and write here. No more numbers have been left. Therefore, we got only one number 7 present in all the three places. So, 7 itself is our HCF. I repeat, we got only one number 7 present in all the three places. So, 7 itself is our HCF. Now to get LCM. Whatever HCF we got to that we should multiply by the numbers which appeared either once or twice in these three places. What I mean is C. Here 2 is not cut. Do we have 2 here? No. Do we have 2 here? No. 2 is present in only one place so still you cut 2 and write here. To write a number here, it is enough if it is present in one place or two places. Now 3 not cut. Do we have 3 here? No. So you cut 3 right here. Now 11 is not cut. 11 is present in only one place. So you cut 11 and write here. Now each number has been cut. Therefore our LCM is 7 into 2, 14, into 3, 42, into 11, we get 462 is our LCM. Am I clear?